Hi, and welcome to the lecture on thesis statements. What is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is a one or two sentence statement that states the main idea of an essay. Here are some basics. A thesis statement is complete sentence or sentences, not a question. It usually falls at the end of the introduction paragraph in an essay. It's usually directly stated, although it may be implied. And it may have points, mapping, or no points, general. Let's talk about a thesis with points. A points thesis states the specific points, one point for each body paragraph. It essentially creates a map of the essay. Let's look at some examples here. If you're given the topic, are social media sites helpful for college students? Here you'll have to explore the topic, and I've given you a thesis outline of a thesis with points. You would respond, social media sites are useful for students because of X, Y, and Z. I use the letters X, Y, and Z where you would fill in the points that you're trying to make. And X, Y, and Z each will contain a separate body paragraph. A thesis with no points is a general thesis. It states the main idea but does not offer the points or the reasons. There is no map. Let's look at that same example. Are social media sites helpful for college students? In a no points example thesis, it could be stated as such. Social media sites can be useful for students in many ways. Many ways will need to be explored in each body paragraph, one way per paragraph. When you're writing thesis statements, it's always best to defer to what your instructor, your instructor thinks is the best type of thesis. Thesis statements can be direct and implied. A direct thesis statement states the paper's positions, commonly required for most essay writing. An implied thesis is unstated. These types of thesis statements are used for narrative writing or when the writer wants the reader to come to his or her own conclusion. And I think you'll find that a direct thesis is most used in academic writing. Let's compare topic sentences and thesis statements. Remember, topic sentences belong in body paragraphs or paragraphs. A thesis statement is the main idea of the essay. A topic sentence usually appears at the beginning of a body paragraph where a thesis statement usually appears at the end of the introduction paragraph. A topic sentence focuses on one single point in the paragraph to prove the thesis, and a thesis statement focuses on one main argument or point to pull through the entire essay. Let's set up an outline. When writing an essay, you're given a topic, and you can compose a simple outline. You'll need a thesis statement. You'll need a main idea for body paragraph number one, body paragraph number two, and if the essay is longer, body paragraphs three, four, etc. The conclusion restates the thesis statement. We're going to look at a sample essay at the end of this lecture. Right now, let's look at the outline. Again, the topic, are social media sites helpful for college students? We're going to use a points thesis here. Social media sites are useful for students because of X and Y. Body paragraph number one will explore X. Body paragraph number two will explore Y. And the conclusion paragraph will open with a restated thesis. My example, since social media sites are useful, college students should embrace them.
Let's look at body paragraph number one. Let's figure out a, a reason to fill in for, num for letter X. Social media sites create a place to safely interact with new people. The second point of the essay will be social media sites can be used to further in-class discussions enhancing the learning process. And I restate the thesis. So now I've filled in X and Y with two specific points to prove the thesis of why they're useful for college students. And because I did that, I can now revise my thesis. The new thesis, social media sites are useful for college students both socially and academically. Parallel structure would require that I talk about the social benefits first in body paragraph one and the academic benefits in body paragraph two. My thesis promised the reader I was going to do this, and I'm doing it. Let's remember that a thesis statement is not a question. A thesis statement is not an announcement. And a thesis statement is not a fact or an observation. So the sentences, are social media sites helpful? That's not a thesis, it's a question. In this paper, I will discuss how social media sites are useful. This is an announcement. Social media sites are used by college students. This is just an observation or a fact. There's no argument, there's no point you're trying to make. These are three examples of what thesis statements are not. Let's take a look at that sample essay. Here's an example essay titled, Not So Super Supervisors. In this essay, the writer is exploring classification, categorizing types of supervisors. You'll notice that this is an essay. It has multiple paragraphs. It has an introduction, one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. In the introduction, I've underlined the thesis statement. She writes, in my professional experience, comma, here are three examples of not so super supervisors. Can you tell me what kind of thesis statement this is? Direct, implied, points, no points? You're correct. It's a direct thesis with no points. Here are three examples. She doesn't list the examples in the thesis statement, and that's OK. However, let's see if her paragraphs prove her thesis. As I move through this essay, you'll notice that I've underlined the topic sentences of each body paragraph. Here, she talks about the first type of supervisor and names it the narcissist. Is this a type of supervisor, as promised? It sure is. We're going to scroll down to the second body paragraph. The second type of supervisor is the delegator. This is another kind of supervisor as promised from the thesis statement. The third body paragraph mentions the bully as a type of supervisor. Again, referring back to the thesis statement in her promise. And finally, her conclusion paragraph opens with a restated thesis statement. This is how thesis statements function in an essay. And this is the end of the lecture.